What's going on everyone? Gavin Peacock here, Flip Society. I have all my gear behind me as you can see. This week, Kara and I are leaving the San Fran and heading to Yosemite Park, so I figured do a nice spring clean like I said I would, go through all my gear as fast as I can, and uh, give you guys a tour of the Ultimate GoPro collection. So I gotta be quick, these always end up being over 25 minutes. I wanna keep this around 10, so I'm just gonna blast, basically point and shoot at uh, everything I'm using here, and uh, get on with it. Okay, let's go, fast as we can. Okay guys, and as I rip through this, I will make sure to stick in the Amazon links below and descriptions if I can to everything I point to in order. Okay, starting here in the corner with the easy stuff, I have the uh, GoPro Seeker backpack. I've highlighted this in the past. It has all the compartments with the GoPros in it. It's still full of old gizmos and gadgets from my last trip and all my airplane tickets, which is pretty awesome. My super indestructible Pelican case here is the 1520. Inside's got millions of compartments as well, and that's where I pack all my gear if I'm going anywhere where I want an indestructible case. can hold anything you ever need GoPro accessory-wise. Down here, I'm using the GH5 to film this, so you can see some spare lenses from it, the old camera cases underneath. This is a very expensive frame for the GH5, but I've sometimes been known to stick the GoPro on the mount and use this as a heavily weighted uh, frame for snowboarding, chasing people down the hill. The extra little weight from the steel and aluminum gives you some stability factors. This frame here would be, this is a 3D printed uh, replica, would be the kind of same thing. GoPro sits in the middle and you can easily hold it either hand and chase someone down the hill with it, no problem. Got my super old antique GoPro water bottle. Moving on, getting into a better position. Got some old GoPro boxes here. I have the Rode VideoMic Pro, microphones always if you need them. I have, I think I have a photo of a setup I used at a wedding once. GoPro mic with this handle and the bracket lets you hold a light mic and the GoPro all at once. Right up here you got the GoPro dome port and then my famous fishbowl from the comparison video of trying to make a $10 fishbowl look like the more expensive dome port. I have a LED Go video light behind. Up here, two suction cup mounts. Suction cups are awesome because they can stick literally anywhere, smooth surface. The Jaws clamp would be kind of its bigger brother. It can clamp to anything, anything, tree branches, whatever you need if, if the suction cup can't do it. The uh, Joby Gorilla Pod, flexible octopus handle tripod. Again, let's you can wrap this around a tree. You can use it down low like a tripod. Um, with the, as long as you have that GoPro tripod mount on top, I'll get to those in a sec. Down here are just, this is the Samark carbon fiber handle. It's got red tape because it's a bobber as well, so if you lose it in the water, we have the red tape floating up top so you can see it. This is the Telesin handle for the dome port, but I use it separately as a floaty as well because it's a nice bright orange. Samark has their floaty Velcro attachment, so you can stick this on your head straps. This one goes around your wrist. I stick it to the end of my selfie sticks, so if I were to lose it, it floats the selfie stick up in the water like a bobber. This is a company from XClear. I did a video on this. This is the nano, nano suction mount, which is still kind of like science breaking. Um, but super mini suction cups let you stick this to any smooth surface as well. Uh, I'll show you video clips of that. The X, they have XClear water phobic lens protectors. So if you stick those on all your camera lenses, which I do, you drop into water, the drops clear right away. And you never have drops on your lenses and you're not having to do the dirty lick like I do most of the time. GoPro power bank, you can use any power bank you need, but they're always awesome to travel with because you'd be charging, as Kara would say, ABC, always be charging. You can toss this into your backpack, charge the GoPro as you get into your next spot. Woo, we're going fast. GoPro travel charger, comes with all the various adapters that I've almost had to use all of them in my travels, but very handy to charge GoPros on the fly. I use these tiny little pouch bags and sunglass cases to hold ridiculous amounts of all my SD cards. This little guy, anti-fog inserts from Sandmark for the old GoPro cases. Make sure you never fog up your case when you're in hot, going from hot to cool climate conditions. Okay, moving over, here are all my old and new and in between GoPros. Some I've lost, some I've broken, some I've traded. But we have them all there in the various cases. GoPro remote, batteries galore. Here's the Xeon Rider M gimbal that I often use all the time with the GoPro. And it's bigger brothers up here, the Smooth 3. 
Those are the handheld gimbals for your phone, but you can definitely get those bracket adapters to throw a GoPro in, which makes it kind of double bang for a buck. We got big fluid head tripods. You know, I'm always a fan of the fluid head tripod. Mini small travel tripods. I'll be having to pack one of those for hikes in Yosemite. You don't want to be lugging up the five pound tripod all the time. Uh, in the back, can't believe more people haven't been doing this, but I got made my GoPro kite mount that we flew on Canada today. Uh, behind a boat on a fishing rod. You guys should go check that video out. Kites work amazing to fly GoPros. I couldn't believe how well it worked. We have the new Air Fly Dart where you throw your GoPro in the front of it. It's called the Poor Man's Drone. You can huck that thing up into the air. Follows a nice parabola, gets a pretty steady shot, doesn't twirl in the wind. Uh, so that's very neat. Drones, these are kind of, these are some older ones, but as long as you have a drone with a gimbal on it, any drone these days is gonna be awesome for uh, getting those great aerial shots and intro shots. Um, over here are the collections of all my sticks. We got the Samark, Samark all black aluminum, the Spivo twirly stick that you guys have seen me highlight. This is my Excalibur, as I say. I just did a video entirely on this. It's the number one thing I use the most out of all my accessories. That's the Slick Lighty Pod, and then some various other sticks as well. You need a stick to extend the GoPro to get further reach and include yourself in the shot. Woo, okay, keep going, we're going, we're going. Going quick here. Just picked up this newer filter kit, ND filter kit. On top is this diving lens. You need that conversion lens to make all turquoise water appear brilliant on the GoPro. Underneath is the four part uh, ND filter kit, four, eight, 16, and 32 ND filter. You guys gotta just kinda watch a separate video on why ND filters are super important, but it basically keeps light down like a sunglasses lens on top of your camera and lets you use lower frame rates, which is awesome. And just by chance, this adapter for the seven is a 58 millimeter ND filter that fits my GH5, so it's a double bang for your buck as well. Got some old stickers down here, just showing them off. Here is a sweet alligator clip. I often stick that to my backpack strap and I can put a gimbal on this mount here and use it as a kind of like a shoulder mounted gimbal attachment, which is great. This is the GoPro egg timer, 360 degrees time-lapse accessory. Uh, really cool for getting sunsets and panoramas as you go. And here we have the Sumatri with the aluminum tripod mounts that are very, very, very important. I have tons and tons and tons of them and these will screw onto the top of your selfie sticks, screw onto the top of these floaty handles. Um, I'm gonna let you put a GoPro on. Here's one holding a phone, phone squeezer clamp. Side note, these clamps will squeeze a GoPro sideways, so if you can get a 90 degree turnout on a mount, you can just squeeze a GoPro in there, no problem. Like so, squeezing no problem. And let's get away with another kind of mount if you needed it. This is Telus in here. This is an underrated wrench for the GoPro arms. Sometimes you reef them on there too much, you can't get them off, so this fits and cranks it off. Also works as a beer bottle opener, so pretty wicked right there. Moving on, got a 360 swivel mount wrist mount, and then a really old one here is a Velcro wrist mount that I just rigged up to go around a motocross helmet for a dirt bike trip. Um, I went around the visor and hung the GoPro low. And again, rules from my steady video, if you mount to your head, oh, shit. Your neck works as an active natural gimbal itself so you get rid of a lot of vibration versus mounting something to an actual dirt bike or uh, any motorized vehicle that's got the vibrations going through it oh we've got a little chunk of pool noodle hanging around because they're the cheapest floaty you can ever buy so you just duct tape those to any sticks or handles you're using and you'll never lose what you're playing with in the water moving on moving on told you guys this would be a speed round okay what else we got we got a gopro Head mount, head strap mount, goes around your helmet or your bare head. Got two of them here. This is an Extendo uh, wrap for the uh, swivel wrist mount if you wanted to make it a head mount as well. Everyone, please tell me you've seen this shoelace accessory. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you gotta go check out my steady cam video right now. The ultimate cheapest GoPro trick and mount of all time to get you smooth and steady footage. The old remotes, old drones up here. Here's a chesty cam. Always want the chesty cam to set a camera down low on the chest, especially if you're on a bike, you get the bike in the handles 
in the shot versus a head cam usually misses that. Um, so always handy to keep you go keep you going hands free. Over here is the this is the fetch mount for the dogs. I've segued to Tucker already. He's uh, recharging the batteries. Tucker's recharging his batteries on the couch right now, and Bruce is on the floor behind him. But you guys will see more of them later when we redo the canine video with some updated footage. Canadians, duct tape. Of course you need duct tape in your collection. If nothing else over here works, just tape the dang thing together. It'll always hold. Pretty cool 3D printed spike mount. Stab this into the ground, gets your camera nice and low. Um, low to the ground without having to use a tripod or spread legs on a tripod. This will always get lower than that. So this thing's been pretty cool. These are just extender rods to really reach a GoPro off of the helmet. This is the GoPro variety extendo stick. You see a lot of wingsuit people using these. They reach off the helmet to get the camera facing back at their face. Very, very, very cool. More of those. And then in here, I think this is my old hero session box. It's just basically the graveyard of attachment pieces. I call these the Lego pieces for GoPro. You can go into here, uh, use any combination of these to get the angle you need. On the mount we just used for the motocross helmet visor, we just use a few of those to drop the camera a little lower so it sat roughly where a chest mount would off the visor of the helmet. And yeah, that worked out really well. But again, this is where all your adhesives go to die because we never use adhesives. If you guys have ever heard me talk about these things before, no guarantee those are hanging on to whatever you're sticking them to and you might lose your GoPro as I've seen in the past. And then SD cards, beyond SD cards, car chargers. This is the kind of et cetera box right there. And then I use these bins. I got about six of them to just load everything into um, in sorted order. So that's it, as fast as I can get through it. Hope you enjoyed. Again, links below. We're gonna pack up some of this to head off to our West Coast trip, heading to San Fran, and then Yosemite for three days. But I hope you enjoyed this 2019 collection. It's pretty badass and forever growing. As always, like, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for further adventures as we go. Okay, that's it guys. Love you. Keep watching. Until next time, Gavin Peacock out.